Hey guys, so today I want to start a new series and a couple of months ago I purchased a course on SEO and many people already know about SEO, SEO is search engine optimization. So this was a 30 day course, the course was about $299 and basically I decided to share all the things I have learned from that course. So I will not be mentioning the name of the course maker because I'll be sharing everything I learned from the course. So this was the basically a very basic outline. So this outline is pretty simple about the course, whatever I have learned and I'll be taking this whole journey. I will be taking you all through this whole journey and uh, from basic to advanced. And uh, at the end of this course, you can work with any SEO agency or you can work on your projects fairly comfortably, run your own websites or you can work with any client. So let's just without wasting more time, I will just start the course for you, for you all. So let's go. So the very first thing is introduction to SEO. So this is a course, as you can see, it's divided in daily and weekly basis. So it is divided week by week basis, 30 day, four weeks. So I will not be taking that much time. They were supplying the videos every day, but uh, I will not be taking that much time because most of these topics in the beginning, at least are not very, not very complicated to understand. And I don't think one day is uh, necessary for these kinds of topics. So let's just start. So first is understanding the search engine. So what is a search engine? How do they work? So let's just talk about what is a search engine. So search engine. Search engine is basically a place where you can find whatever you want, right? So you can find stuff by keywords. Very basic concept by keywords. Right now, there is no other way to find anything online other than keyword yes there is image search in this stuff available image search but still most of the things you see is basically keywords right we call it metadata we call it everything is basically metadata basically described by words words on the paper words on the website so that's how basically it's found all right so let's go let's go to the next one so the next one is what are the major search engine is google bing and yahoo the king is google we all know this we all you know use google and uh, not many people are using me now with chat gpt4 and stuff bing is getting popularity once again but uh, still google people are using google the most so that's uh, that's all there is to it now importance of search engine visibility the importance is pretty simple you can get in front of the clients and get, get in front of the customers right so let's say to reach people reach people it is very simple search engine will help you to reach people the only way to make money online as i always say it's community right community equals to money all right now i'm not saying that every community is monetizable and or you should try to monetize everything online because you should not but anybody who is making any kind of substantial amount of money online any kind of uh, you know kind of revenue that you can live off it is basis of the community all right they have a big community the bigger your community is the more you can provide to them they are willing to buy stuff from you right so let for example i bought this course for 299 dollars why i bought this course for 299 dollars because i needed somebody to teach me seo who is already working in the industry so this was taught by an industry professional so that helped me out to actually understand what seo really is right what seo really is okay so let's go to the next one seo fundamentals seo fundamental definition and importance of seo we already discussed the importance of search engine visibility that's all the importance of seo is all right definition is it is search engine optimization so you basically what you do in seo is if you are starting out very basic concept is in seo you optimize your website your website to rank higher on search 
engines right it is really that simple you optimize your website to rank higher on search engines all right so let's go to the next one it is not very complicated guys it's very simple so there are two types of seo it's one is on page and the other one is off page so let's just discuss about on and off page seo this is very important to understand because believe it or not there are people who are expert in just on page seo and then there are experts in off page seo and you need both off page seo right all right so let's go on page seo is basically i'm going to just type here on page seo is inside the website all right inside the website i will explain everything don't worry inside the website off page seo is outside the website all right inside the website outside the, what does that even this even mean inside the website right all the metadata metadata means headings content images tags backlinks right everything that comes inside your website whatever it is you control from here right although many people believe and it is actually true the backlinks come from outside so many people have confusion with what are actually backlinks how do people get backlinks backlinks is one of the oldest metric for google or any search engine to basically decide what websites they should trust so backlinks are basically links that come to your website there are two kinds of backlinks i can actually give you some basic of this follow and no follow i will be explaining it in the future so let's not worry about that right now but they are follow and no follow do follow no follow whatever you call it do follow is basically the links that follow and uh, no follow is the links that don't follow and i will show you the practicals of this all right so that's all there is to it for on page and there are many other things also there are just things about the design like as i said metadata is basically the key for on page seo everything comes under this right so i will be explaining you everything in the practicals let's just let's discuss a little bit of theory today we will do the practicals tomorrow and i'll be showing you all the free ways to do these things you don't have to spend a penny on this all right so let's talk about off page seo off page seo is basically social media links what is social media links all the pages from ig yt fb whatever you do so what i'm try trying to say is so all the social media links whatever you think of it's outside your website right so these are off page seos how do you basically brand your website how google sees your website out from the outer links now backlinks is a very interesting thing when it comes to seo because backlinks always come from outside but i put it on on page seo because even though nowadays you can get backlinks you can purchase backlinks and stuff and people been purchasing backlinks for a long time now but if you see it in a manner that all right just linking is sufficient because the website is getting linked from a very authority website it's going to be sufficient to rank i'm sorry to disappoint you but that's not going to work that's why i put it on on page if you are deciding to get backlinks just make sure that your website is on the level to get those backlinks because google will understand this google will understand it immediately that the website is not good and it's going to penalize your website and it's going to penalize the person's website who is providing the backlink to your website that we know all right so this is from experiments and stuff and i'll be showing you all the ways that people get their backlinks and the good legit ways and then there are some dark head and the ways that you should not try and if you are trying don't try it on your main website and i'll be showing you everything so i think this is all there is to it on page off page as you and stuff so i don't think so that uh, all right so let's just discuss one more topic seo and scm it is very very simple seo is search engine optimization and scm is search engine marketing search engine marketing is paid plus organic marketing organic ways to promote and then you paid they use paid ads for 
improving your ranking on Google via Google Ads or something, that's search engine marketing. And then search engine optimization is all organic that we are going to do in the next chapter. That will be keyword research. It's one of my expertise and I will be more than happy to teach you everything about keyword research that I know and I will be showing you some of the most advanced tactics that you can use, start using and you can decide what website you should create and how you can approach the content of that website. So that's all there is to it for today. I will see you in the next one.